Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And back in September of 2017, somebody posted this on Facebook. And then recently, just today, somebody, and that's one thing kind of neat, neat about Facebook, if you find something old and then you um, comment on it, then it comes up to the top of the page. And they wanted to be able to make this for a wedding topper. And I just grabbed it off the internet or off Facebook. That's the, the that's the way it looked. It's real fuzzy and pixelized. And I've tried tracing in a couple of different ways with line art or clip art. It all comes out about the same. The um, infinity trace is pretty good. The words are terrible. So, and you could go on the internet and go to infinity, infinity shapes and um, I didn't find anything that was even kind of close to what this one was because of the fact that it's it's kind of neat because it's thick through the middle and tapers down. So this is how I would do it. I'm going to just take my two-point line and I'm going to draw some lines. And what I'm doing, I'm knocking the words out. I'm going to get my Smart Fill tool and I'm going to fill that in. First of all, I'm going to back up. I was playing around with this today and I want no, I don't want any, any outline and I want to make it black. So now you've got your infinity shape. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's not bad. It's got a few extra nodes it doesn't need. Like here, this square part, but just take your shape tool and just select some things and you're trying not to get it out of out of shape too much. We might have already done that, but you could always grab this last node and kind of bring it up. And I, that's not what the video is about, so I'm gonna, not going to really do any more. Uh, but I can't stop. So anyway, we went too far on that. So do the inside ones. I got the outside one. Just do some inside ones. Leave that last one. And there you go. Now I just went to the internet or to my text and I found two words that are kind of, well, I found the two words, but I found the text that's kind of close. I just typed them out together. I'm going to go control K and it's going to break them apart. I'm going to left click, right click, left click, right click, and then I'm going to weld these together but I need to go to arrange and break artistic text apart. Then you can go up to arrange and convert to curves. Now it'll weld. Pretty nice. Same thing here. Break it apart, select it again, convert to curves. Now this time the part, part of that letter might not stay there, but it did. A lot of times that that inner part goes away when you're welding, uh, I've got several videos on how to do that. So now we just need to scale it down. It's no longer a text. So we can't really see the size, but we just need it to fit. And we're going to take that and we're going to zoom in here a little bit. And we're going to rotate that. Just double click on it. And we want it to go kind of in the shape of the animal. Now we're, we could make it bigger or we could make it smaller. For the video, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, that's your discretion, how you want that to look. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to take the me and we're going to do the same thing. Now you definitely, in this case, would not want them different sizes. So we need to make that just a hair bigger. You definitely wouldn't want to make me too big. So we can't make the word any bigger, but we can take our shape tool and select on our item and bring these two nodes in. Bring, whoop, we can just delete that one and just kind of bring these nodes in. That looks pretty good. Now, select everything and weld it. There are, there's a few problems like right, right here with it's a sharp corner, but very easily take your shape tool and just delete that node, or maybe even delete that node, delete that node. You know, then we can go find and fine tune this 
I would have really want that corner in there, so let's leave that one. But you can see these nodes, we went too far. And then maybe on the, and so you could do this, somebody actually today's posted, they would like to be able to figure out how to put a name, you know, the people's name in there. So you can see I kind of made the E flow. So it kind of, and you could, you could play around this forever. Now take your smart fill tool and fill that in, move it away, left click, right click. And the reason I did that, I just think it's a lot of times cleaner. Now somebody also mentioned they wanted to make a cake topper and I would still work on this a little bit, making this, you know, play with your nodes, you know, delete and add and um, till you kind of get what you think looks the best. That doesn't look too bad. So if you're going to make a cake topper out of this, you know, just make you a bar, depending if you're going to use acrylic or wood. And the best thing to do here to me is just get your virtual segment delete key and delete these extra lines and then worry about welding. Now these are two parts, so let's get our smart fill tool and fill it in. And now you've got a complete cuttable cake topper. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.